The Target 12 investigators continue to examine the state's vaccine rollout, which we revealed last week was given an F by Harvard University. Tonight, the CDC says they delivered Rhode Island tens of thousands of doses more than have been used so far. So we're looking into where those vaccines are and when those shots will get into people's arms. Target 12 investigator Tim White is here now with the exclusive details. Examining the numbers from the CDC, Target 12 found a gap of nearly 90,000 doses the state received from the federal government that have yet to get administered. A Target 12 review of CDC data finds as of Tuesday just over 234,000 doses were delivered to Rhode Island. Of those, just over 147,000 doses were administered to people. That's including second shots, leaving a gap of 87,000 unused doses. In response to questions from Target 12, a Department of Health spokesperson says some vaccines are saved for that second dose and more will be administered when the state's mass vaccination sites open on Thursday, an online portal for some Signups is expected to launch Wednesday. Target 12 revealed last week that Harvard gave the state an F for getting shots into people's arms. We know that we were taking a different approach in terms of being targeted. We didn't think that that would lead to it being graded in such a way. We knew that it would be slower because we wanted to be uh, more targeted. In an interview with 12 News anchor Kim Colonian, Department of Health Director Dr. Nicole Alexander Scott says the state's targeted approach was to vaccinate at risk communities first. But as long as Rhode Islanders understand what we're seeking to achieve, the data speaks for itself in how significantly our drop has been in hospitalizations. And Rhode Islanders will see that the access to vaccines will improve. Target 12 also found some 20,000 doses that were earmarked to nursing homes through CVS and Walgreens went unused because Rhode Island entered into a federal agreement that required far more doses than were actually needed. Several states have expressed frustration with how the CDC reports the number of doses shipped. Now, coming up new at 6, we asked Dr. Alexander Scott if she has had second thoughts about that pharmacy partnership. With the Target 12 investigators, Tim White, 12 News. Tonight, the Target 12 investigators continue looking into the state's vaccine rollout, which we revealed last week was given an F by Harvard University. At 5, we revealed more than 87,000 doses. The CDC says it delivered to Rhode Island are so far unused. New at 6, we asked the head of the Department of Health if she has second thoughts about how they partnered with pharmacies. Target 12 investigator Tim White is here with the exclusive details. Many states entered into a partnership with CVS and Walgreens to distribute the vaccine to nursing home residents and staff. But with that job largely done, there are roughly 20,000 doses allocated to that program that are sitting unused. A Target 12 review of CDC data finds as of Tuesday, just over 234,000 doses were delivered to Rhode Island. Of those, just over 147,000 doses were administered to people, including second shots, leaving a gap of 87,000 unused doses. A Department of Health spokesperson says some vaccines are being held for that second dose and more will be administered when the state's mass vaccination sites open on Thursday. An online portal for signups is expected to launch Wednesday. But Target 12 found roughly 20,000 of those unused doses were originally earmarked to nursing homes through CVS and Walgreens. They sit unused because Rhode Island entered into a federal agreement that required far more doses than were actually needed. We definitely wish that we didn't have such drastic gaps in administration rate when you looked at the pharmacy partnership and what we were doing with the rest of the state. In an interview with 12 News anchor Kim Colonian, Department of Health Director Dr. Nicole Alexander Scott says Rhode Island has a much higher percentage of the population living in nursing homes than the rest of the country. But ultimately, a way to get a very important community in our state vaccinated was needed. A Department of Health spokesperson says those doses will eventually get cycled back into their inventory and distributed to the public. With the Target 12 investigators, Tim White, 12 News.